Hi everyone and welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from snowy Air, Ontario. Today we're looking at this, the 2004 Skidoo Elite. The Elite, the only side-by-side -side snowmobile made by Skidoo. At BRP, we've seen side-by-sides for off-road in the summer, but in the winter time, yes, there was this, the Elite. Originally made in the 1970s, then brought back in 2004 for side-by-side -side snowmobiling fun. The power for this 2004 Elite came from this 1494cc engine, also called the 1500, used in sea dues producing 155 and 130 horsepower on the water and 140 horsepower here in the Elite. It was fuel injected for consistent performance. Now driving this big Elite, well, the clutch had some work to do. So Skidoo went with a TRA4, but a variation of the clutch designed for the V1000. It's smooth, accelerates, hooks up well, downshifts, backshifts, does it all, pushing this big sled with the big tracks with that big 1500cc engine. The track setup on the Elite is very interesting. It's 136 inches, but it's times two for the two tracks. So you've got two times 15 inches wide, that's 30 inches of flotation. The engine on this sled is actually pretty traditional for that time. On the front we had ADSA, and on the back we had SC. Now the dual tracks did push the front end a bit, so if you're in soft fluffy snow like we were today, well those two tracks kind of push you right through the corners on the fluffy stuff. Remember, on the twin track racers, one of the tracks was disengaged so you could turn easier. But on the Elite, both tracks stay engaged the whole time, and boy does that ever give you traction, especially when there's a burnout. Operating an Elite is pretty straightforward. You've got a steering wheel, a throttle on your right hand, and a brake in your left hand. No foot controls. You steer, you drive, you brake, you go. Reverse is down below. Very necessary on this big beast because you don't want to try and lift this thing when you've messed up on a corner or if you're stuck in a parking lot. So again, very easy to drive, lots of fun, but hey, off into the powder we go. The 2004 Elite was the only year for this style of Elite. Some people say you'll see a 2005. That was in fact a carryover because it carried into the next year's catalogs. So the 2004 anniversary special like this only was built for 2004, but the carryovers sometimes misconstrued as a 2005. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Bits of Motorsports in Air Ontario. Remember to like, share, and comment on all our YouTube videos. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.